Now whether your outlet or light switch has Mickey Mouse looking ears like this, more of a squared off ear with multiple different cut lines, or even the super fancy Eaton ears that have integrated wire strippers, all these designs are gonna serve the same purpose. And they most commonly come into play when your electrical box is something like this, which is a new work box that's been installed for decades and decades prior to the wall surface, like the drywall behind me is installed. So you have your bare studs, you sink in your two mounting nails here, and then your ears, which are more properly called plaster ears, coming from when most wall surfaces were plaster, will be mounted within your box and then just sit flush with the wall surface. Like this example here where I have two Decora light switches and you can see the top is sitting on the drywall. So this is gonna get a consistent mounting depth for these light switches. Then your faceplate is gonna sit tight to the wall surface with no gaps. Okay, so that's the purpose of the plaster ears. The issue is when should you not be using those ears? And that's when you have an electrical box called an old work box where you're gonna actually cut a hole in the drywall and then insert this electrical box after the plaster or the drywall is already on your wall, right? It's old work, it's after the fact. And this is actually where I've made this mistake for years and years. Even on my most popular video on this channel, it's about six million views. I have an old work box here and I start to mount the outlet and I actually missed one step because I left those ears in place. Why that becomes an issue because these little plastic tabs on your old work box actually sit on your wall surface. So if you just install your outlet with those tabs, now you're just slowly stacking up and pushing that outlet away from your wall surface. So then when your faceplate mounts to your outlet, you're probably gonna have a little gap on the outside. The nice thing is this is very easy to fix and all you have to do is with a set of pliers or your wire strippers, just break off those ears when you're using an old work box. When you break those ears off, now when you're mounting that outlet to the old work box, it's actually going to fit in a specific designed slot in the old work box, so everything is flush to the wall surface, and now your face plates will sit correctly. 